Hi guys, today I want to talk about how to import an eight map into an existing terrain. First we create our terrain I create a one kilometer square terrain with an eight map resolution of one thousand twenty four okay now we want to import eight map values from this texture that is a grayscale 16 bit diff format texture of 1024 resolution take care that the resolution of the texture we want to import must be the same resolution of uh, the our terrain 8 map in our case we have a uh, 1024 resolution 8 map so we can import uh, a 1024 resolution text okay to import uh, click on edit import 8 map we choose the texture ok now a bit of theory uh, we have chosen a 16 bit texture this means that values inside that texture range from 0 to this value 65,500 36 from 0 to this value that uh, for S2 engine mean centimeters so mean 655 meters often the 8 map um, imported as a big aliasing for preventing this aliasing we can smooth the input 8 map smooth radius is how much we want to smooth the 8 map the last parameter is scale of uh, the eight. For now, we left it to one. Epsilon offset, we left it to zero, uh, and I explain this later. Okay, we import the eight map. Okay, as you can see, we we don't see anything. Don't worry if you don't see anything. We have said that 8 map values ranges from 0 to 600 meters, so there is a big range, and in this case the terrain appeared below the fog. But we can uh, offset the terrain on the y axis, so click on terrain props as you can see the uh, 8 map imported is uh, dark this means that values are small so this is the reason the terrain is uh, inside the fog is uh, low 8 map origin this with this parameter we can uh, uh, displace on y axis the origin of uh, the terrain inside the texture space of the 8 map this means that if I lowering these values the terrain the terrain origin is lower into the 8 map space and then the terrain is moved on top so more smaller is this value more the terrain is uh, uh, moved on on top now if I change some parameters of the import for example I want to 
increase the terrain scale I re-import the heatmap and then uh, as you can see the values of the imported heatmap are uh, much less dark this means that the heatmap uh, is uh, higher so I can uh, move the terrain below for example into the fog okay to have a better idea of what is the position of the terrain we can use uh, the sea level the ocean level okay the ocean is on zero so I can use it for better placing the terrain another important parameters for the terrain are terrain load and heat map bump terrain load is the load of the terrain if you see it in wireframe you see how the load increase or decrease okay the second parameter is uh, for uh, the heat map pump heat map normal map lower values uh, means uh, more visible normals greater values means less visible normals uh, ok guys for now I think is all uh, thank you for watching bye